Well, welcome back, my friends, all to the greatest show on earth, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoor. Cut a little sandblast hose there. We're about to shred up this tire, BF Good Wrench. This is the Jack Wolf's Venom. Now listen, S90V Steel, Fat Carbon Dark Matter, Red, Handle scales. I always screw up the handle scales they send me, but it's the fat carbon dark matter red. I love it. The blade finish is tumbled, blasted and tumbled. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. There, man, there's a ton of good channels that are going to review these things and they're going to give you every damn close up look you can imagine and talk about the stickers and the walk and talk and all that. And that is phenomenal. I am going to post Ben's video on this knife, and I'm going to post Donnie B. All Day's video on this knife. The deal is this. These are dropping August 16th. You don't want to miss it. You really don't. I love these damn things. They're well built. They're well made. They're sharp as shit. Now, here's the thing. By listing Ben, uh, Ben Belkin, the owner of Jack Wolf Knives, and Donnie B. All Day, they will have the dealers who will have these, so check them out for sure. What I do, guys, is we demonstrate the knife. It's not a review. It's really not. So I cut up a bunch of shit. But I want you to pay attention to what I cut up in this video because this is a slip joint, all right? These are reinforced tires. They're still belted tires, but we cut into the sidewall, which is reinforced. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a minute and see if you can hear it rip. I chose the worst part of the video to see if you could hear it rip. It ripped. Just, just trust me on that. The blade steel is S90V. I'm not a steel snob. Never have been. But I love S90V. I really do enjoy that steel. And the thing is this. Jack Wolf makes cutters, right? I mean, these are traditional slip joints with a modern take and all that. And they are. And they're made with high-end materials. And they are. But these things are always slicing. Now, guys, listen, I've done 10 or 11, and I have to credit Brandon Thrasher at this point. I'm going to tag Thrasher uh, in the description. To be honest with you, the man's had to change his channel name so many times, I don't remember it. But I will tag Brandon Thrasher in uh, the description because without him, I would have never checked out a Jack Wolf Knives. He was good enough to let me check out his collection. That opened the door. Uh, ben watched the videos, and for some strange reason, he enjoyed them. And that's exactly how I came to review these knives or demonstrate these knives. Now, this is reinforced sandblast hose. I cannot stress to you enough how impressive this is, how impressive it was just slicing through it. Again, Jack Wolf makes cutters. Now, the price point, I think, is anywhere between $3 and $3.50. I really don't know. But I do know this, nobody's going to spend that money on this knife and do what I do with it. But isn't it good to know you can? Here's the thing, a lot of you guys are just like me. A lot of you guys who watch this channel are just like me. You're going to use your knives. You're going to cut stuff with them. That's what it is. It's a cutting tool. And they do it well. That's why I cut all this stuff, right? Because if I am in a situation, because I'll be honest with you, there are a ton of weekends, ton of weekends, that I have my uh, uh, feel-good jack on me. That is a knife that I adore. I love all the Jack Wolf knives that I've been sent, but that feel-good jack is one of my favorites. Now, the Venom is another favorite because I like a sheep's foot or a worn clip blade, especially just for daily tasks around the house or whatnot. On the weekends, I'll throw one of these in my pocket. It comes with a leather slip, and we're going to look at all the stuff you get. I, I, again, there are great, great channels who do a really good job of taking a look at that stuff. Uh, I'm just not set up for it. We're gonna, I'm going to show you, but my thing is cutting, and we cut a lot of stuff in this video, man. I mean, I cut a lot of stuff. We cut tire tread. We cut sandblast toes. Now, we're going to do the Donnie B all day drop test in a quick throw at the stump test, and shout out to Donnie, man. I, he about cut his damn left thumb off, son, and then decided to send me the picture of it. That's one thing I could live without. But shout out to D-Bad again. I'll put his video in the description, but check him out, man. 
Um, and, and shout out, man, thoughts, prayers go to Donnie's way or, or good vibes, however you want to do it, because that, that sucks. I've been hurt, not that bad. And again, Donnie, you never have to send me that picture again, buddy. That, that's a bit graphic. Now here, we're just doing a quick, I'm going to make a quick spear or punji stick for the neighborhood kids. Y'all know how I am about that. Never unarmed, right? So if the Jack Wolf Knives can make a punji stick or a spear that'll bring some joy to a child's heart like I had when I was a kid, well... Y'all know that I'm just kind of thoughtful in that manner. I mean, I'm kind of known as the neighborhood weapons guy. Most kids swing by and I'll give them a handful of punji sticks. This thing makes a deadly one. Now, this particular stick right here was dry as shit. And again, it's just a testament to the sliciness of this knife, of the venom. They're thin behind the edge. They are slicey. Good throw right there. And again... That S90V holds an edge. Now, here's the vaunted walk and talk. And I, guys, I'm learning. Every day I use a knife. That's the God's honest truth. Every day since I have started this channel, without fail, I have used a knife in some way. I'm learning terms. I'm learning all that stuff. It's got a really good pull on it. I, I don't really have a gauge for that, like the pull. It's a good medium pull for me, and I, and I like that. I don't want to struggle with a knife. But at the same time, at the same time, you don't have to worry about it flying open. It's a good pull. It, it, it locks well, and I don't mean lock literally. It pops into place well. I mention this every video, and it's one of the real draws for me to Jack Wolf Knives. Ben named the company after his grandfather. I was super, super tight with my grandfather, and that's just always kind of a connect right there. The artwork on this thing is insane. Now, I don't really collect a lot of anything, but these tins, and these are tins, these aren't cardboard, I do collect because I love this artwork. And here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. The only reason I'm showing this packaging because it's next level. Nobody does it like Jack Wolf does it. That's a fact. But the knife matches the packaging, right? See, if you send good packaging and a shitty knife, I'm not showing it. I'm probably not showing the knife, to be honest with you, because you could have took that money, dumped it into the knife. You don't have to worry about that. You really don't. And I, and I say this honestly, everything they do is first rate. I'll say this too, because I always take flack for being positive. Y'all just don't know me that well. But the truth of the matter is this. If a knife performs, I'm not going to lie and say it don't. I'm not going to tell you what somebody else said. I committed, committed, committed to when I started this channel that I was going to bring you my ideas, my opinions, my thoughts on a knife based on the use of that knife in my hand. I try not to make broad sweeping statements, but I can tell you after 11 Jack Wolf knives, they have all been sharp. They have all been quality. They have all been first rate through and through. I personally haven't had a problem with them. And the other side of that is this. I'm not going to bash something that I've never had a problem with. I'm not going to bash something that there's nothing wrong with. I just don't believe in that. The thing that I like about the knives is the consistency. It is. It, I love a sharp knife. I will always love a sharp knife. Now here's some ratchet strap. Y'all watch this because it gets pretty impressive from here. The consistency means a lot to me. It always has. It always will. I like being able to open that container knowing, hey, this is going to be a good looking knife. It's going to be sharp. It's going to perform well. That, I mean, the thing is this, and, and let's just take a minute to be real. I mean, that's all we can do. If you're worth a shit as a knife reviewer, you can make any knife on this world look, look good. You can. People say, oh, Scab, you shouldn't say it. Well, it's the truth. I'm not going to lie. The beauty of a Jack Wolf, and I, I'll just be honest with you, and, and it's not because of the price point. There are plenty of expensive knives that suck ass, right? You won't see them on here because I'm not showing. I just, I refuse to do that. If a knife's bad, I refuse. If it's unsafe, I'll tell you, but if it's just bad, I'm not. But here's the truth. It's not the price point, it's the consistency. That's what I love. I love knowing I'm going to be able to go over there, pop that tin, do a video cutting up tires and say, I mean, think about what we're cutting with a, with a $350 slip joint pocket knife. I'm not worried about it closing on me. I'm not worried about it chipping the blade. I'm not worried about any of that. Why? Because I've done enough consistently 
to know what to expect. If one was bad, I'd show you. I really would. There are times, and I say this half kidding, but mostly serious. There are times I wish I'd get a, a, a one-off here and there. I really do. Just to say, hey, look, I get them too. But when I don't, I'm not going to lie. The knife's comfortable in hand. Let me run through some, some specs for you. The blade thickness is one-eighth. The knife closed is three and three-quarter. The knife open, the overall length with the knife open is six and three-quarters. The blade length is three inches. The cutting edge is two and five-eighths. The blade width is 11 sixteenths. The inner grip, yes, I did an inner grip on this, is three and a half. It's a bit small, but listen to me. Slip joints are going to be small. They just are. The handle thickness is five sixteenths. So the truth is, while it's a little small on that inner grip and handle thickness, it gives you plenty to hold on to. Now, I was pushing down on that pivot, like right there. Just put, look, putting pressure. Nothing loosened up. Nothing cracked, everything held in, and I, I did it enough, and I know that I do things over and over, and you're like, scab, move on. I want to give you the full experience. Again, the walk and talk. Would I carry it? Hell, I carry one every weekend. I, I love Jack Wolf knives. The Warren Cliffs, I carry more. I just do, so this one will go into the rotation. Guys, real quick, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now we're headed towards the weekend. It's going to be up there. It's going to be 29 to 35. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Bets, I love you, man. You got a place here. That's all that means. You're welcome here. I back to blue. Not arguing with you about it. Not trying to convince you of it. Something I believe in. Finally, if you are an addict, and I am, never quit quitting. Well, Jack Wolf Venom's badass. And I'm scab. You're not. I'm gone, son. Love y'all.